Hello guys, good morning. It's an absolute pleasure to come back to you with new contents. Uh, in fact, I have shown you in the previous video how to germinate Malabar spinach and how to plant the Malabar spinach. But today I'm going to show you how to uh, harvest the Malabar spinach. In fact, I'm going to share the joy of harvesting Malabar spinach with you. So let's start the harvesting. Cancer. Actually, um, before I harvest the uh, Malabar spinach, I want to show you how they have grown. Uh, this year, actually, the Malabar spinach has exceeded my expectation. As you can see, this year they have grown better than the last year even. Actually, the, because of the continuous rainfall, they have grown well because the Malabar spinach love both temperature and the water. So because of the rainfall, they have grown very, very well. As you can see here in the video, last year it didn't grow that much. So as you can see, they are looking very, very nice, very healthy. The leaves are quite big, as you can see how big the leaves are. Thick, green, crunchy. And the vines are really healthy, big, healthy vines. I'm so pleased with the Malabar spinach this year. Last year it was very good and this year is, uh, I would say, just excellent. As you can see all the way in the video, there are three lines of Malabar spinach in fact. They have grown so well. I'm so happy with them. I'll take a closer video as you can see how healthy they are. The only problem was the slug. Because of the continuous rainfall, the slug and snail was abundant in the garden. And they keep coming the crunchy fresh leaves as you can see. But anyway, they have eaten their share. Now it's my turn to have my share. So I'm going to have the Malabar spinach today. And I can't wait any longer to share my joys with you guys it's an absolute pleasure i don't want to just make a video to show you how to germinate things i want to show you how to grow and how to harvest as well i mean the full cycle of growing things from germination to the harvesting so that you can learn something and you can grow as well that's my main aim i would like you to grow and to be pleased and to share the joy of growing happiness and joy growing something in the garden is an absolute pleasure and all you know that so i'm going to start the harvesting now I want to show you very important information is that when you harvest Malabar spinach, you don't cut the vine from the bottom. You leave some growing tips or nodes uh, so that they will grow again. I mean, you can have a multiple harvest uh, if you leave few nodes uh, to grow. So I have cut that vine from there and the vines, uh, and the vines from there. Sorry. Yeah, so I cut. I have cut two vines, one from there and uh, one one from here. So there are a few vines, a few uh, growing nodes left. This one and that one. So they will keep on growing. 
So when you have a small of a spinach, try to lift your nuts from the bottom and uh, they'll keep on growing again and again. That, and then, I mean, that's how you can have a multiple harvest from the same plants. Look how healthy is it. The leaves, the stems. So I'll cut the video. Okay. So I have harvested just half of the plants today because I'm already tired. So, and uh, not only that, and uh, it would be too much for us to process, to wash and to cut all of them in one go. So as you can see, I have harvested just half of the plants till there, right there. And that remaining bit, as you can see, the remaining plants will be harvested sometime tomorrow or day after. Because, as I said, we won't be able to process all of them in one go. So those plants, those giants will be harvested sometime tomorrow or day after. And the one I have already harvested, those bits, I'm going to take them home and uh, wash them and chop them and I will freeze them to be consumed in the winter. And now you'll be stunned to see what I have harvested, the amount of Malabar spinach. Look, I just can't believe it, what I have been awarded with. See what the Almighty has awarded me in the garden. Look. Look. I'll take the video from the distance so that you can have a, an idea as to how much I have harvested already. This is the basket. It's over full now. Now the worry is how am I gonna take them home? Some of the leaves are too big. Look, look at the size of the bee. leaves. Look. How big it is. Hello guys, these are the harvest of today. Uh, I brought all them uh, to the house. As you can see here, there are a lot. And on the way to home, I have shared some with my allotment friends. So I have shared almost two kilos with other friends at the allotment and this is the rest. I guess there would be 10, 10 to 12 kilos as you can see here. I was struggling to bring them in. In fact, as you can see the basket, two full baskets of that. So I'm really glad. So as I said, it's just 60% uh, of those and the remaining 40% will be harvested sometime tomorrow or day after. Now I'm gonna wash them, chop them and put them in the fridge to be consumed whenever I wish, we wish, in the winter especially. Yeah, there it is.